I'm going to let our supervisor of career and technology education, Ms. Pearl, let you know why we're here today. Well, Mr. Keene nominated you for our advisory council, CTE, Teacher of the Year. Oh, cool. And you happened to be at the advisory council meeting the day that they were deciding this, so we had to push you out the door. I didn't feel a little pushed out. <laughs> I, never, I never thought that this was why. So that they could discuss and pick their, their selectees for the year and you are selected as one of the CTE Teachers of the Year. So Very you will cool. be recognized May 4th. Good, I'm planning to be there. So. Good, at our event <laughs> at Rockershaw <laughs> High School, 7 p.m. Bring your friends and family. Very good, that's exciting news, thanks. Yeah. Well, that's a good question. I mean, I, I mainly work here at Langhorne High School as um, a transition education coordinator, which means I work with our work study, internship, and um, service learning students. Um, I also coordinate our open campus students and work with them, not to as high an extent. Um, I do a lot to work with our kids and trying to get them ready for the real world, and meaning whether they're going to college or not, getting them to kind of know their place and their worth in the world of work, you know, their skills and things that they don't necessarily know on their own, get them to kind of realize their potential. Um, and then the last few years I've been doing a lot of work, um, also working with kind of being um, a leader of other teachers and doing a lot of workshops and, and lessons for other teachers in the county in this curricular area. Well, it's always nice to be recognized, but it's, 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 all, it's never expected and yeah. it's a nice surprise when it happens and you know, I've got a couple of different little things that I've recognized in the last couple of years, and it's always very humbling and very, uh, you know, I always feel like there's so many other people that work as hard, if not harder, than I do, so it's uh, it's kind of nice to have the recognition, but it's, you know, it's not solo. A lot of people work yeah. together to make everything happen. I'm um, always working on new ideas and trying to think of new ways to... Um, uh, one of the things I really am passionate about and trying to think of new ways to get is to get more kids who aren't necessarily directly connected with our program thinking more about career prep. And I know a lot of kids think about career prep means just going to college, but mm -hmm. there's so many skills um, that high school students could be learning that make them more marketable in the world of work, but it also makes them a better college student. Mm -hmm. So thinking of new ways and really thinking of kind of the kids that are the in-between, like we have you know, a lot of kids at our school that are very motivated, very college interested, and then we have some kids who are not interested in the school at all. But then we kind of have the kids in the middle that come to school every day, they don't cause any trouble, they get C's in all their classes, they're just kind of in the middle and they just kind of get to the end of high school, and they're not maybe gonna to go to the University of Maryland or WVU or anywhere, and they're just kind of done high school, but they don't really have an idea of what's gonna happen you know, in August. So trying to try to better identify those kids and make sure they're aware of the options they have of things, whether it be school, training, work, programs that are in place when you're done high school to be able to be independent. 